everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jade Falcon Freeborn. So we have jumped systems like I said I would, but I was hoping to find some place closer um, that was within, you know, four and a half, five skulls. And really, I only had two choices if we were going to stay within the Federated Suns. So let's have a quick look at the star map here. One of them was a four and a half skull lunar planet, which is here. Um, and I don't really feel like fighting on a lunar world, so I did jump here instead. This was only going to be like a nine day jump. This one ended up being 22 days, but it's a five skull um, Terran world. So, you know, our mechs that are running relatively hot won't have to worry about heat problems. So I thought we would try this today. Now, it took a little longer to get here than I thought, so, but that's fine. Uh, I'm hoping we pick up some Comstar missions. I haven't had a chance to have a look at the command center because before we do that, I want to have a look at the mech bay. So um, if you've been reading the comments section, uh, Fist of Dorn and I have been talking about the Atlas loadout, and he's made a couple of really, really good points. Um, and, and I suggest you go and read it. I pinned uh, the um, discussion in the comments section in the last episode. Um, so yeah, go and have, or I think it was episode 107, or was it the last one? Either 108 or 107. Just go and have a look. Uh, I can't remember. You know, the weird thing is I just replied to, so it's like <laughs> I think I'd know what, what episode that was, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I've made some adjustments to the Atlas um, just so that, um, like, the, I guess the main issue is deciding is it going to be a long range mech? Is it going to be a close range mech? If it's going to be a close range mech, I mean, we did put the supercharger in it or, in order to give it some speed, so it should move in a little closer. So if it's going to be a close range mech that. Um, a heavy Gauss rifle is pretty much wasted in it, right? So I did end up moving that out. Now, originally I had thought I was going to put an Ultra 20 in. But when I was going to put the Ultra 20 in, the issue is, is that the only Ultra 20 I had at that time was um, an inner sphere version, which is 16 tons. And in order to get that in, so if I remove the, the heavy Gauss rifle, which is 20, and the 3 tons of ammo with it, and then replace that with the 16 ton ultra um, I need a minimum of four tons maybe five tons of ammo and at that point I was pretty much still at the same weight it's 21 tons right there and then I needed to do a bit of sinking because it was w much hotter than the uh, heavy gauss rifle so I didn't actually end up going that route but what I did do is I did um, take into account the fact that this guy is designed to be a close-in brawler so I made a whole bunch of switches not a whole bunch but uh, uh, enough that it's going to I think help the mech out in general. So let's have a look at the Atlas here. Um, and I think all the changes are really positive. You can let me know what you think. So first of all, we picked up some weapon mounts. So now we have a weapon mount on each arm to help these heavy PPCs out with accuracy. So that's a huge bonus. The second thing we did is we put the clan TTS weapons in that we picked up in here, giving it an extra bonus to hit, which is even better and increases the range bracket by 20%, which means these heavy PPCs have got even greater range than they had. So now they got a 720 meter range, which is fantastic. The recoil of three is, is now partially mit mitigated by the um, weapon mounts, which is good. I left the breacher in because once again, this guy is supposed to be a close in fighter, so we can multi-target a, a, a variety of targets. Now instead of the Ultra 20, I went with an Ultra 10 uh, because it was basically half ton, half of the heavy Gauss rifle and then three tons of ammo, which gives us, the double gives us nine turns of firing and the, and the single gives us another four. So 13 turns of firing continuously with the Ultra 10. And I shouldn't really have to worry too much about the recoil on it. I think it'll probably be okay. It might jam every once in a while, but I think it'll be fine. So we left the Nova CEWS, the exchanger, all that stuff stayed in. Our heat sinking is actually pretty good overall. 113 alpha strike, heat sinking 105. So it's really, really good. Now I swapped out the, um, we had the heat dissipating, I believe. Yeah, the clan heat dissipating armor in the center torso here, or the regular heat dissipating, sorry. And I swapped that out for the spall liner because I would have preferred to have, rather than the sinking, because which we don't need right now, I would prefer to have that damage reduction if we're going to be in close. So it does have that, that, um, that 10% damage reduction and resistance against critical hits, which means this guy can go in and take a fair number of hits, right? I toyed with removing this, um, but then I thought, you know, it's much better to have that breaching shot in close. Uh, it's increasing our, it's giving us a 10% to all range brackets too, which gives us even a, a you know, greater range for all our weapons. But still, when we get in close like this, we can split up our targets between the two heavy PPCs, which are going to be hitting for, you know, 90 damage, 99 with a, uh, a Warlord Strike um, each. 
and then the Ultra 10 will be hitting for double 60s. And then I threw a SRM 6 with acid ammo in here. It's got 10 turns of acid fire. We got a half a ton in here, right? Well, almost 10 turns, like eight, nine, what is that? Eight turns, eight and a half turns. Still a fair number of rounds. But this guy, we can select which target we want to wreck, right? Fire it off at him in close range, right? Um, you know, it, it does, it's only going to have a maximum range. I think this, does this increase it by 20%? Yeah, so we have a 30% increase in range here, which is going to give us, you know, a little over 400 meters worth of firing. Um, but when we're in close, this can be used against heavier mechs, and then we can, we can open up on them with everything. So that was my thought with this guy. It does still have the heat bank, so we can go over a fair bit of maximum heat and stuff. Um, the e-cooling plus two stayed in, the supercharger stayed in, and that's pretty much it. We only got one slot left here. Um, I managed to, um, pretty much, armor's almost maxed out. I added the points back on the legs. We were, we were only down 10 points on each leg. And I took one point, I think, off the back or something, but not much. So, yeah, any, anyways, this guy is going to be our main brawler. Now, whether we put this in the, the, um the head of the second lance, which was Fist of Dorn's recommendation, which I think might be a good idea, throwing this guy in as the main target for the enemy while the vultures and the um, exterminator uh, make a sweeping move around behind them. That's a good possibility. So we're going to leave this guy like this. Now, he's not hitting very heavy. Like, you know, you figure 180 plus, you know, like this, what, 300 and whatever this acid damage is. It's like 12 per shot, I think. So, you know, 70. So 370. It's actually not that bad. Um, but it can take a hell of a lot of damage and it can draw the attention away from the enemy. Plus, we've got a little bit of movement here with the supercharger, so if we need to get out of get out of the battle quickly, we can do that. And the other mech that I had to look at, because our main lance, we're running the Dire Wolf and the three Timberwolves, right? I think I want to leave it that way, but right now, the, 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 the Timberwolf C was underperforming, and that reason why is because when we're fighting heavier mechs, we're generally staying at range, and the Timberwolf C was meant to be a close-in brawler. Um, and I had, you know, forgotten a whole bunch of things about this. It's got, it had a supercharger and everything. And I had completely forgotten to use a lot of this stuff over time. Um, and I wasn't really, really happy with the, with the, with the close range performance of this thing. So I made a, a significant change to it and you'll be able to see this in a second here. So let's refit, let's, let's go into the refit and show you here. So I didn't, I ran out of weapon mounts. So I decided to load a pair of ERPPCs in the arm. Because I like, I love my ERPPCs. Recoil of one, which is negated completely by the weapon mount, and I threw in the upper energy um, as well, which is going to give us plus four to hit for the arm. Um, and I threw a PPC capacitor in. Um, so yeah, it's going to heat up obviously when it's activated, but definitely it's um, um, you know we're going to be hitting for 84 per uh, PPC when it's turned on. Uh, we've got recall reduction here, sensor trackers. I put on the fire control system energy to give us even more of a chan better chance to hit. So we're plus five to hit with the ERPPCs. Um, and that's pretty much, I left the uh, the AMS in, threw an LRM 15, and I had five tons left over, so I threw an, I was hoping to get two LRMs in, but it wasn't gonna work out. So I threw an LRM 15 in. Uh, it's got a ton of swarm ammo and a half ton of thunder ammo. So that's like 12 turns of firing, and it's, I think that's plenty for this. Um, the swarm is just basically to do a little extra damage here or there. And the thunder is to limit the enemy's movement. So that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, I also cranked up the e-cooling from a plus one to a plus five. So without being able to swap, swap out the Omnimac parts here, like lower the core and everything, there really wasn't too much more I could do with this. Uh, I thought about splitting up, splitting up the ERPPCs on each arm and moving the LRM to the other side, and then I thought, well, we might as well leave everything over here, um, or everything on this side, I mean, and then just shield with the left side. So I think that's probably what we're going to end up doing. If we're going to be firing from range, that's what we're going to end up doing. Now the LRM-15 can be turned on or off. These are the this is the pinpoint damage I want to be doing with this with this mech, and our heat sinking is and isn't actually you know a, a horrible. It's actually not that bad. Uh, we're plus 19, but I mean, like I said, when you switch off the LRM-15, which is like 23 heat, I think, yeah, then you know we just drop we just drop the heat on you know pretty pretty much in one turn. So uh, I think we'll be fine here. So we're going to run this guy today, and we're going to run the Atlas today just to see how they work out. So that being said, let's have a look at the command center and have, see what kind of contracts we have. Hopefully we've got something good. I'm interested to see here. Well, looks like we've got Howl of the Beast 2. Um, Ragzilla we destroyed wasn't the end of them. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's tempting me. Why is it tempting me? No, stop. 
Okay. Let's have a look at the mech wares while I decide if we're going to make the attempt to do that. Oh, I really want to do that now. Um, what do you need? Avalanche, no. What's up, Eagle, okay, great. Uh, we finally got the Warlord. Excellent. Uh, oh, Gaucho, yeah, I don't know. I th We want the extra health. I've been putting this off. I probably should just go with the extra health. Just I don't want any pilots to die on me here. Yes, All right, now we're saving up. Actually, no, we want to go this route first for a cult shot bonus. Training Definitely want that. Uh, Griff is fine. Good to go. Hannibal the Cannibal is getting on the way up there. Ready Judge, do we want to go... What is this giving us? Anything? Minimum range and initiative. Minus 10% heat generation. As opposed to 5. We don't have much... Well, I don't know. I'm not really sure how many more episodes we're going to have. So let's just leave it for now. I think we're going to head up the gunnery the gunnery line with her. I think we'll go up that route. So Mockingbird's already maxed out. Rhino and Six Pack. They're working on getting maxed out as well. Um, we're probably going to go with Cold, Cold Shot Mastery next with her. So, okay. Let's see what contracts we got here. I think I want to go after the Rackzilla guys. Meat Grinder. What's this one? There are two lead lances of planetary government holding an important area on Al Nair. We believe the hard stake that sir they're holding anything. The bonus pays will be quite generous, but this is test you, Skipper. Um, meat grinder, baby. Should we go into the meat grinder? Battle in the jungle? War criminal? I don't know, man. How the beast has got this lure of going after the Raxilla. It's in the highlands. It's if we can deal with the turrets fast enough. So we would definitely have to have the Jormungandir Gundir in here with the arrows to deal with. I'd have to... Let's have a look at our bays and see what we could do here. So in order to be able to deal with them, we would have to deal with the turrets, which means the Jormungandir would have to be firing on the turrets. We have five turns of regular arrow ammunition fire. Fast game to tie up the enemy, most likely the Ragzilla, because maybe we can blow its legs off. Wouldn't that be wonderful? We could go. We could go all 100 ton max. Bring the Atlas in. We have to get close with this though, I, and I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to stay at range as best we can. As soon as we close, we're going to be in trouble. I think. Dire Wolf is okay for long range, and it's stealthy as shiz. The King Crab is stealthy. So we could go with that because it's got the um, the built-in chameleon, right? And it's got the four ultra fives, which means we could, you know, smack down a lot of damage on these guys from good range. Um, well, ultra five six hundred meters plus the pilot bonus. Um, but we got really great accuracy with this thing, right? Uh, I mean, we could bring the Orion with the with the racks, but then we have to worry about ammo issues. So the Direwolf and the Yorman Gundir are definitely the two that would go, because Griff can pilot this sucker, and with the gu well, I don't know, two ER larges and two Gosses, is that going to be enough? Well, it does have the weapon mount, so it's like super accurate. That's the thing, right? We got super accuracy with this thing. Wish the ERs could be switched, swapped out for PPCs, but no big deal. Uh, it's super accurate at range. The Atlas would need to close, and like I said, I don't know. Well, I guess it doesn't really need to close, though. If you really think about it, with the heavy PPCs and the bonus distance, you're still looking roughly the same range as you are with the Goss. Almost in, it's almost the same range as the Goss rifles without any modification. Right, the Gauss rifles will shoot a little farther on this one, and the ER larges are a thousand meters. But this guy still actually wouldn't have that bad a range. 600 meters plus 30 percent is like what 780 meters? Yeah, so it's about the same as the uh, Gauss rifles without modification. Jorman Gundir's got what? Well, that arrow is going to hit for damn sure. 1750? You kidding me? And 690 for the LRMs. 10 and Two tens and a five. I mean, the awesome could come as long as it stayed at range with the ER large lasers. You could fire off all four of them at super range. 
thousand meters, we just stay away from them and shoot them from distance. We're going to take that mission today, guys. I think we're going to take it and then we're going to do that first just to see what we can get out of it here. I got a bad feeling about it, but it's definitely going to going to test us. I I should really go with it's going to ah oh, fuck it, go 523. <laughs> just max it out. Why am I so worried? Okay. Main lance, please. The rest of these guys can just sit back and watch how it's hopefully how it's done. I, I'm uh, I don't think we should bring Hannibal in. I thought about it, but fire maneuver is more important at this point. We've got two people that can fire a maneuver. So Griff, okay, you're gonna run the dire wolf. Who's gonna get the Yormi? Six packs gonna get the Yormi. We want to give the people who have fire a maneuver the mechs that we're gonna be in range and Mockingbird I'm thinking with the accuracy on the Atlas I'm thinking that's going to be you girl now the question is do we go with the four ER larges at range I think we go with the King Crab I think we go full 100 tonner alright guys let's rock this Okay. Are you fucking kidding me? <sighs> You'll likely make contact with the escorts first. It's your choice to engage them or not. I don't know if we're going to make contact with the escorts first or not. Ready to rock, Steve. Now, normally there's turrets. We got guys back here. Got guys up here. I don't know if these are turrets or not. And then we got these guys. Um, we want to stay stealthy and we want to stay at range. But we also got to get away from the guys that are behind us. So I'm thinking, yes, we know what our extraction point is. It's over here. This is actually, I think, a really favorable map for us. Let's get in the trees. Makes it harder for them to see us. Commander? Really favorable map for us. Okay. Commander. Moving out. We have some blips. It's an Omega ship. Shinigami, don't really care. Um, is the Omega, is that the Raxilla, or is that a different one protecting the Raxilla? I don't know. Either way, he's going to take a face full of hurt. Um, mm, yeah. I copy. Now the question becomes, oh, he's got like no stability. Blood asp. They look so tiny compared to the, uh, these guys, eh? Um, let's narc this guy. Uh, there's the three triple plus gosses and a couple of LBX tens. Now the question is if these guys can see us, we could be in a lot of trouble. So, um, How do I want to deal with this here? Sheer damage output or... Let's heat the shit out of all these guys this first turn. Target acquired. Primary target Ping. Now the reason why I say that um, is because it's going to pretty much negate them doing any kind of damage against us early on and then I can start link because we're not going to take the legs off these guys there's just no way this guy's probably completely unstable at this point uh, how much armor does he have in his head 145 oh my god do we just shoot him I think we do 
We got full damage though. Two seventy five in the leg. 383 in the CT with 230 internal structure. This is going to be 330 damage. Leggings really the only way to go. Commander? Okay, girl. Rolling. You know what your job is. Ooh, I like those chances. Let's go after this. Yeah, the Ultra 10's got the range. Taking the shot. Critical hit, Commander. Got the leg. We got the leg. Either that or we just knocked him over. I don't know. I don't know which. I don't think we took it. Uh, maybe. He took a bunch of internal structure damage. We may have taken the leg off, but most likely we probably just knocked his ass over. There's the Raxilla there. Yeah, they can't see us. You back the fuck up, buddy. Oh, they can see us. We gotta move. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. We're packed too close now, too. I just realized that. If they got turrets, they can hit us. So we need to sprint and spread out. I don't think they do, though. I don't, somehow I don't think they've got, they got an escort and they've got ambushers. So I don't think they've got, um, yeah, I don't think they've got, um, yeah, they're spreading out. Um, so, let's deal with the Omega differently. Let's fire here. You know, I think this guy I don't know how much leg armor it's got though, that's the thing, right? Copy that. Do it. I think that got his leg. Now, either they didn't fire because they couldn't, because of the range. There's four hits. Standing by. You know what you gotta do. There. You know what you're best at. Firing. See ya. Do not get out of the trees, whatever you do. Location confirmed. Shinigami, low chances. A little better on the Blood Asp. We're taking him, I'm firing. Okay, it's a good start. Got movement here on the left. We're going to push for our extraction point. And I think we let the Yorman Gundir do the work, man. I, I really do. I think we let the Yormi do the work on that Raxilla. While we kill out the Shinigami and stuff. And if we need to push up there, we'll go ahead and do that, but... Waiting for orders. I, hate, I hate to have to move out like this, but we're going to do it. Um, let's just shoot at him. We're gonna drop minefields on him, Stone Rhino. Okay. Ready for orders. Roger that. Keep moving to the way, way out. Fire everything on this guy. Um, I think now's the time. Let's warlord this up. It's not gonna give us a damage bonus on the uh, fast scan, but I just want the chance, better chance to hit. Acknowledge. Jesus Christ, this guy's gonna get like. 10 turns of like fast scan mines on him. He's just gonna just erupt. The legs are just gonna come right off him. What's up, boss? You gotta figure out something like about 100 damage every time he moves. 
And once again, not for damage, but for chance to hit. Okay. Griff, I want you to sprint, please. Get up around this way. Spreading out a little bit here, which is good. And let's apply this. Um, we're, uh, should we, uh, like he's barely taking anything. His legs are starting to take damage. We could go after the leg. It's a pretty low chance to hit at that point, though. So I'm wondering if we're going to just go after the Blood Asp here. We could try... Let's respect... Oh, you know what? Forget it, because it's... Um, we could go after his head, though. No, this is firing him. I want to make sure we get damage in on this guy. Okay, they're in range. Advanced AMS for the win. We gotta move. Gotta get down this hill too. Uh huh. Shit. There's where the turrets are, right behind us. God damn it. Reporting heavy damage. These are the turrets back here. We gotta get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna need a medic. Yeah, you are. You took a hard hit there. Jesus Christ. Critical hit. Bad one, I think. Here I thought we wouldn't have turrets, but that is unfortunately not the case. Can we get down this hill? We can over here. I hope. Looks like it's possible, so we need to keep moving that direction. Raxilla has vanished. So what do we got over here? Kerberos, which is not good. Another <sighs> Jesus, these guys mean business today. Gotta spread our ass out. Alright, there he is there. I think we just shoot him, try and make him unstable. God, you didn't lose enough of your instability. Oh, I hope you can get up. Reporting internal damage. I got a feeling we're losing the Kraken on this one, guys. Okay, 63 minefield damage. It's not, not We're not getting enough out of those. They're letting their turrets do the work. Really freaking annoying. Ok, 
Okay. God, this thing's a beast. Like, it's taking a lot of damage, but it's still pretty darn good here. 33 on the, on the left arm. You need to full sprint this girl and get into the woods. We're going to lose that left arm. I don't think there's really much I can do about it. That's if they can see me. Now, if I sprint my ass way the frig over here. I might get out of their visual range, maybe. I don't know. Fire everything on this guy. Couple hits. Not much. Nope, they can't see us. Okay. You know your job. You know your job and you know it all too well. Let's see if you can hit this guy and blast him all to hell. Okay, acid's on him. Bonus, 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 bonus. Might be able to take the legs. Fucking Kerberos is gonna knock me over. Getting banged up real good. Damn it. No, 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 no. Jesus Christ. Okay. God damn it. The Kraken should be able to knock his ass on the ground at least. I think we need to bail this one. Find out here in a second. We just don't have the juice, man. We're just surrounded. Nope, we're pulling out. Retreat. Let's get out of here. Ah, man, really? Well, at least Mockingbird's uninjured. That's the bonus thing. We lost two torsos and almost the CT, so we still have the Atlas, in theory. In theory, all the shit that we just put on this thing is gone, though. Well, the spot liner's still there. <sighs> we lost the Atlas. Well, that's a lot of sea bills. It's a million. <laughs> I don't even know what else to say other than just give it a laugh. What the hell? Let's take this ball liner back. Uh, well, we got a couple of Atlas parts back. Well... Yep. Uh, I think the only thing I could have well the best thing I think I could have done the first turn played out okay as soon as the as soon as the uh, Kerberos and the and the Kraken 
spotted me, my immediate response should have been to head in the complete opposite direction from them because the blood asp and the Shinigami weren't really moving out. So if I, rather than moving forward like I did to head towards the drop point, if I moved kind of in the direction where we weren't surrounded completely, so just pulled straight, I guess, if we're looking at the Raxilla straight ahead of us, just gone straight right, rather than moving forward, like we went kind of like forward and to the right, rather, rather than just right. If we kept going just right and shot them from a range... The biggest, I think the biggest error was bringing the Atlas, I was obviously the biggest error was bringing the, the Atlas into with, within Raxilla range. I just didn't think he had the range on us at that point. But he did. Um, yep, yeah, well. Well, it was another attempt. Hopefully we'll get another one here before the, uh, end of the series, because I will take it again. Uh, let's have a look at the contracts and see what we got going on now. Um, meat Grinder, we're going to hold off until our main guys are back online, but let's take War Criminal. Let's negotiate this. Going to go full salvage and put our second lance into action. Because why not? It is only a three skull, so or three and a half. I think we should be okay. Alright, Hannibal. Um, where are you here? Gocho, Judge, Avalanche. Actually, you know what? Let's bring in Eagle now. Well, nah, Avalanche is fine. Um, we're in for the kill for this one. So let's go with... I think this will be relatively fair. For them, that is. Uh, yeah, I think we go this route. Well, the other, I mean... If we're worried about ammo with the racks, but this is just a shredder. Let's go with the shredder. Command Alright, we'll have a lance coming from behind us. Probably. Yeah, we do. Um. Just thinking back in that last mission, I think what what really killed me wasn't so much, I mean, it was the Atlas moving up, but I think what it was was the fear of the artillery doing more damage to us. I think that's what panicked me. And rather than sitting level-headed and analyzing the situation and moving away from the guys that could spot us, I panicked. And I think that's probably the precursor to my demise in that one. Yeah. What do you need? Pretty sure. I need to go kill these guys over here first. Because I'm we're gonna kill everybody. Uh we wanna assassinate people first. Like I think we deal with the less number of guys first. So let's go do that. Let's go deal with these guys back here. Let's keep ourselves turned. So our sides facing both ways. Go deal with these guys. Keep your eyes peeled, Commander. This looks like an ideal place for an ambush. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Thank Come you, on. Julie. Standing by. Understood. Moving fast. We're in a prime spot for an ambush. We're in a prime spot for an ambush. And how crazy do I want to be? Probably I want to go nuts. Good to go. Because I am nuts. What do we got? Thunderbolt, Raven, Javelin, and a white. We got a lot of dead meat here is what we got. Um, who do we want to kill? Might be able to kill a Javelin. But the white is a juicy target. Super juicy, in fact. I've got a surprise for you. That's going to hurt. 
Eh, it doesn't seem like it's hurting that much. So we're going to have the Rackzilla, or the Ra Rackzilla, <laughs> the Rack Ryan kill up the uh, Thunderbolt for us. Thank you for showing up. 65 versus 65 tenner. Yeah. Um, I need some speed, please. You can't hit the white from there? Can you? Oh, indirectly you can. Ah, I see. But you can do it from here. All right, full speed. Hit the white. Firing. Waiting on you, Commander. What do you say we give this Thunderbolt something to worry about? This time we don't forget to wind the racks up maximum. All right, firing. You are sorely outclassed. Double time. Let's go. Double time. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, it's Warlord this too. Because you are completely unstable. Copy that. You look drunk, buddy. Welcome to the fight. Inflicted Have a seat. Damage. All right, let's see what they do. These guys back here are sorely out of play unless they got LRMs or something. I don't normally go this route. I normally go after those guys up here on this map, but I just thought I would push these guys today. Then we can just turn and kill the main guy. I don't think we're in danger with any of these mechs at three and a half skulls, but you never know. We might get a heavy mech up there that's pretty tough, but it's unlikely. Of course, now that I said that. And it's gotten all quiet. Yeah, still thinking about that Ragzilla. I don't know. I think if we had kept moving that way, I don't think... I, I seriously don't think the mines would have done it enough on the legs of that. Even if we dumped all of the mines on that guy... When he moved once, it was 63 damage. He split it between the legs as 31. That's not even 10% damage on the legs per turn. I mean, a minefield would have been getting bigger and bigger, but he seemed to be moving away from it. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we would have had to, we would have had to get within range to destroy him, I think. Like range of his racks. Or not, I don't know. It's a tough, it's a tough choice. We definitely, I don't think, had the firepower to take everybody down. The crab would have run out of ammo at, at one point. Um, and then we would have to... The turrets were in a position... Oh, it's the Wolverine X. we got to kill that guy fast. Ooh. No, no, no. Don't shoot me from behind. Um, the turrets would have been a major issue. It would have been a timing issue. Because as soon as they could see us again... They could have done a lot of damage. I mean, I guess the only other way to do it would have been to turn and go after the turrets first. Then you have to worry about the enemy closing with you, and then, you know, then you're worried about, um, let's do this. Then you got to worry about um, trying to get out alive, you know? See ya. Oh, I saw it. Yep. That's why I was monitoring the, the feed there. All right, move over here. White wants to be an asshole. We can be assholes. Scored a critical hit. Wanted to be an asshole. Uh, you know, not much I can do about that. We're going to pick at his body parts like a couple of vultures. Oh, we've got his, his far side. I guess if you're shooting him in the back, though, it just uh, 
Are you going to melee again? Didn't you learn anything from the last turn? Dude. Good to go. As for you, Mama. Position confirmed. Judgment time. Here it comes. Give it I, got. I didn't want to waste the HE on this guy. He didn't have a chance. Mech destroyed. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Hmm. That's pretty good range. Maybe it'll force him to run away. We'll see what happens. No Dachi, eh? Oh, okay. So we do have some good resistance over there. Cool. We gotta kill that Weapon X fast, though, because he can one-shot us. Once he gets within range, he's toast. Hopefully both racks are up and running. But we're gonna be sprinting it back this way, because he's got speed. Gonna move him back. I I'm kind of glad I went this way now. It would have been really, really nasty if we sprang, if we moved up there and there was like the Nodachi and then the, the, war, the Weapon X comes out of nowhere and one-shots somebody. This thing's crazy. Remember we lost a... Uh, which, what mech did we lose early on in the series to the Wolverine? Was it the Hunch... was a Hunchback. And I can't remember if it was... what series it was. It's quite a long... so many episodes ago. I don't know if you remember that. I wasn't really thinking too much about what kind of mech it was, and it, it just wrecked the uh, that one hunchback that we had. I think it was probably Night Witches. There is. Let's deal with this guy back here first. Um, I think you want to sprint. Now we can we deal with the weapon axe on our own terms. The benefit of having Avalanche here too is that we've got that evasion that we she can move in and um, I'm going to go with normal. I don't want to waste the HE yet. Nice. Um, she can move in and become a target with super high evasion. Is that two Nodachis over there? Oh crap, sorry. I got more guys. I think we're outside the Weapon X ranges here. I know he's pretty quick. Um, we got lots of ammo, but I don't want to jam. Let's just fire three. Yeah, we're doing like half damage. Well, 40% reduction. Okay, now the question is, we have our... We don't have... I was hoping we had our um, warlord back up, but we don't yet. Don't need to tell me twice. Gonna pot shot this guy. I don't want my rotaries to jam. Okay, he's taking a fair bit. Ready for orders. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's bizarre that the ATMs will hit him, but the uh, lasers won't. Here he comes. Nope, he's not moving in yet. Yep. He's trying to get to within strike range, I think. Um, Roger. He's most likely trying to get within strike range. Gotta love these ATMs. I don't think he liked that. He took that one right in the mouth. Yes, Monda. Oh, because we got HE on here. That's probably why we can't. No, it's not why. I just somehow can't see that guy from here. Roll to that. 
Okay. Oh man, at that low, both ERs hit at that low chance. Oh, he's going down. Nice. All right. No Dachi. You still got guys back there, I think. Oh, the main guy's back there. All right. I hear you. Oh God. Do we want to push the matter? We do not. Uh -huh. Want to make the weapon X come to us? Can you right now? You can't. Ah, uh, really? I was hoping you could right click to have it go down one shot, but on just making sure I don't jam That's here. I think we're still outside range. He's going to have to come up here. I think he did too. Um, see if we can just get rid of this guy. Thank you. Thank you, Julie. Okay, yeah, they got an extra guy back there somewhere. Let's just walk back up here. There he is. What do you need? Just in case this guy somehow goes before us. We're gonna burrow him. Definitely gonna burrow the shit out of this guy. All right, firing. Badass. <sighs> Not bad. We got what? Seven chevrons of six chevrons of evasion. Oh, yeah, girl. You freaking got that right. Confirmed. You soloed that one. You? On my way. Nice job. Regular ammo. Get the Warlord back. Let's use it. Why not? Firing. They got another mech back there somewhere. Good to go. Don't know what it is, but they got something back there. All right, firing. Waiting on you, Commander. We didn't even get a chance to rack Zilla that uh, that Wolverine. I was really hoping we could. All right, wreck this guy, please. Thank you. Okay, we got someone on the road. He's probably going to be going the other way now. He's like, screw this, I ain't coming up there. Where is everybody? Why is nobody responding? It's because they all dead, jackass. I gotta be careful, I have no idea what it is yet, so do don't wanna get too close. Affirmative. What do we got? Can't see him. It's a can't see him. Orders? Full speed. I think we're okay here though. What do you need? Roger. Still a can't see him. Orders. On my way. 
It's still a can't see him. Holding for tactical advantage. Oh, it's an awesome back there. Waiting for the right move. Oh, it's freaking power armor. <laughs> I got a better solution for you. Failed to connect. Yep. Okay, I'm on it. We're going to have fun tonight. Damn it. Yes. Waiting for order. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. Moving out. We're going to have fun tonight. Ragzilla this guy. <laughs> totally worth it. Even if we're both jammed at this point, I, I don't even care. It's totally worth it. ATMs up, please. Good to go. Yeah, we're jammed with one. That's fine. Let's sprint it down to here. It's just us and this awesome left. Get our racks back. It's not going to be a good day for you. It's not going to be a good day for you. Going turbo. It's not going to be a good day for you. Uh... <laughs> See ya. Gotcha. Well, that was kind of a crappy ending. Mission successful. Well, now I know how my atlas felt. All right. Uh, at least we made some money off this one. Actually, not bad. They did, they performed pretty well. The Orion pretty much killed everything. I mean, I could take awesome parts. We've already gotten awesome. Odachi, seventy tons. Meh. It's got that built-in weapon in its arm. Uh, what else do we got down here? I think we should be looking for sea bills. We're out of case, though. That's the other thing, too. And I hate to take case, but we're completely out. Um, double heat sinks, double heat sink kit, stealth, talents, TSMs. There's nothing really here I want. Strangely enough, I think I might just take the case, too. We have zero. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous. You don't have to tell me it's ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. Of course, worth that much. Double heat sink kit is what? 2.5 million? We'll take that for the sea bills. All right, we got one, two, three awesome parts. One, two, no dachi parts. A couple of Wolverine parts. Yeah, other stuff. Well, very limited uh, amount of output with that one. All right, what else do we got? That was that was against Federated Suns. We should probably shouldn't have taken that, but still, we needed to do a mission. Decapitation. What's this one? Assassinate. Let's try and well, we, this is pretty much all we can do. We can't do meat grinder until everyone's back. Actually, you know what? Forget it. Let's just wait till the the uh, our pilots are back here. How long is it till the Nodachi gets back in? Our direwolf. One day. Let's get the direwolf up. Um, Yormun Gundir, King Crab. Let's put that into the queue up at the top. Bring the Yormi up so at least it's done. You know what? Kerberos can come right up too. Let's get those into play. Okay, let's get our pilots back. That's our mainland's back now, right? Right, let's do this. All right. Contracts. 
Let's take the one we decided we were going to take earlier. And we're going to go full salvage. See if we can redeem ourselves here. A couple of elite lances. Should be good. Let's bring in our main group. So that last battle wasn't too bad. Three and a half skulls. I think that lance probably could have gone with a four or four and a half around that one. Uh, oh, Rhino's out. So six pack can come in. Uh, Hannibal, uh, let's bring in one of our alts here. Let's bring in Eagle. Um, I don't think we're really going to need much more than her. So let's go with that, like that. And let's give six pack the C this time. No, I think I want him on the rack. Um, yeah, I want him on the rack for this. So let's deploy this. All right. They won't make it an honorable fight. Yeah, well, discovering that about the inner sphere here, they don't never make anything an honorable fight. Okay, we're gonna have a second lance most likely from back there. So, uh, do I want to keep this hill or do I want to push into this side? Uh, if they're elite lances at this skull rating, let's go this way. We got the Nova CWSs on us. Should keep us hidden, hopefully from the guys at the back. Waiting for order. I want to apply a lot of damage to these guys early on. If we can wipe out this side quickly. Like if we could get up here, we well, can over here I guess. But I think we need to take the hills on that side. Staying here is like basically sitting in a crossfire. You know that last mission? Now I know how our enemies usually feel against us. Heads up, Commander. Gladiator. Eris. More reasonable enemies now. Catapult. Um, Red Reaper. Okay. Commander. Let's get across the water, please. Can we get a firing solution on these guys? We can. Full speed. No target. Twenty percent, huh? Well, yeah, we'll take it. Ten four. All right, one hit. Not bad. Better than not hitting anything at all. Boar's head. Okay, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. He wants to shoot you from that range. Acknowledge. Oh, large hit. Nice. Order? You're going to get your first real taste of combat, girl. Uh, leave this off for now. Fire two PPCs. Firing on target. Report negative damage. I see that. Christ, it's gonna put me right in the water. Wait, that's not up the hill, is it? No. Twenty-five, thirty. Same on the boar's head. We can do more damage on this guy, so let's fire on him. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> well, I mean, I shouldn't be disappointed. Gladiator, eh? Standing by. Please stay in the trees.
Okay. Mackie. Interesting. How far do we have over here? We got some good room. I think we're going to head back this way. Shit, I got spores on me. That's not fucking good. Well. Missed. Yeah, thanks for that. Yeah, we would have been in a kill zone here if we stayed up here. Although, I mean, the Gladiator, I think the Red Reaper is a melee mech. The air, um... Oh, it's a Barbarian. Is there only one Gladiator? Yeah, there's only one Gladiator. Yeah. They don't have a whole lot they'd have to close with us. Um... Uh, stay out of the fucking spore clouds, please. If you possibly can. Roger. Four point three, huh? Sure. Roger. This battle's gonna go slow for the first little bit, but once we get engaged with the guys that aren't at long range, they're gonna be in big freaking trouble. Once that PPC capacitor comes on. Griff's got his uh, Gauss rifles. We're going to go for headshots and stuff once we get in close. Should be able to kill a bunch of these guys, I think. Um, Gladiator Boar's Head. I got to dial the Gauss rifle ammo off for now. They got a lot of close range weapons on this Boar Head. That guy's pretty darn quick. Not quick enough, though. You know what? As much, well, I don't think we're going to take too much of a hesitation loss here. They got a good mix of mechs here, I gotta say. There's the Red Reaper. Got that big shield on him. There's our first target for the day, people. He wants to stick his nose out. Let's take it clean off. Okay. Okay, good shooting. What did we expose? I think it was the leg. No, it's the arm. Okay. So we go for the burrow then. I was hoping to shoot his leg off, but we're going to go for the burrow. Yeah. Fuck. They got eyes on now. It's the thing I got to get concerned about here. BSPLs, eh? Light damage. Hold and firm. Yep.
I'm away. Double time. Fuck, I wish I could dictate where I move. So annoying. I know spore clouds make me harder to hit, but it also increases damage against me. So when they do hit, it hits for like 20% more or something. Fuck off. I'll take it. God, you got no choice here. Hammer him, please. There goes his sword. TSM is destroyed. He doesn't have speed anymore. Not like you. That's a miss. It is. Totally not like you, though. Yeah. Can't get the Red Reaper from there, huh? All of a sudden the Red Reapers become untargetable? Guess we shoot before we move then, I guess. I don't know. I realized what I, oh my god, Griff, come on. I realized what I did after I moved there. I was hoping to shoot this guy, but then realized I couldn't. <sighs> gotta not panic, gotta not panic. You're getting too close for my liking, that's the problem. Ooh. Once we get behind here, we okay, I think. Standing by. Let's move. Uh, twenty one damage, eh? Okay, a couple hits. Make him partially unstable, I guess. This is gonna be a long fight, guys. I don't know if we can do it either. If these guys keep hitting me. Minor Once we can get these guys' eyes off on this side, though, it won't be so bad. The gladiator is one, the one I'm worried about. He's going to get, get up here quickly. We have to kill him fast. This Red Reaper's got to go down. Like next turn. Damn it. we got to get off the ground here. 
Got to get off the ground here. Shit. The fuck does that guy got? Got a weapon out. The hell, he's got two things that are jammed, though. Oh, for Christ's sake. Good to go. Well, some days you have good days, and other days you just don't. And today is one of those days where you just don't have a good day. I want to get at least one kill. Oh, for crying out loud. Sure, just to add an insult to injury. Low. Well, they were elite. Uh, <laughs> we're trying. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, kicked the hornet's nest. We sure as hell did. Ah, uh, well, I guess today is just not my day. Oh my god, we lost. <laughs> For Christ. Well, at least we get another one. Are you seriously shitting me? Well, we got lucky that it, the mech that got destroyed got replaced with another one. Oh. I don't even know what to say to that. Feel free to drop the comments in the comment section down below. Like, what the hell just happened? It's just one of those days. Yeah, I, I agree that the first episode, uh, the first uh, mission definitely was my fault. I got no problem with admitting that. But that second one, like, just, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done differently. You just, you know, if you guys have an idea, drop it in the comment section. I don't know what I could have done, honestly. I mean, if I stood up on the hill there, I may have lost it for a little longer, but as soon as those melee mechs got close to me, I wouldn't have had the firepower just to stop them all at one time. And you saw what that what that uh, barbarian could do with one hit, 173. Well, it's going to be an interesting next episode, that's for darn sure. Um, let's have a look at the mech base. See what our new <laughs> our new pirate mech looks like. Where are you here? Oh my god. That's some crippling losses, that's for sure. Uh, strip gear. Repair all. Max armor. It's got like, <laughs> it's got endo steel, which I'm gonna be putting clan endo steel in anyway. Oh, that is clan endo steel. It's fixed. Oh, that's interesting. Was it in the last one too? Am I just not? Did I not, not, not see that? What else did you have in here? Pirate engine. Do I want to leave that in. Not enough free slots. Oh, because of the core. We lost the core, though, didn't we? What core did it have? No, we didn't lose the core. It's a 300. You know what? Let's just leave... those guys in for now. What else do we have? UAV... NSS... Oh, it requires ECM. It doesn't really matter. We got plenty of them. Alright, we'll repair that. 
See, that's, that's actually cheaper. It takes longer, but it's cheaper. Yeah, sure, we'll leave that. Let's confirm this. All right, guys. Well, there's a weird-ass episode for you. Uh, you know what it is? Is I went in overconfident. That's what it was. The first mission I didn't. And I panicked. And that was the problem. That's for sure the problem. And the second mission, I went in overconfident. If we had brought... Like, if I... Looking back on what was there, if I decided what else I was going to bring besides what we had, um, we could have brought the Yorman Gun Deer. That would have made a difference. Um, because we could hit them from a distance. Even the catapult would have made a huge difference. I mean, even just staying back on the hill and potshotting people from a distance. Or even the awesome could have made a difference. With the extended, extended range weapons, we could have just sat in the hill and fired. But with what we had, we needed to move in. I was hoping to clear out that uh, right side there and then be able to get up on the hill, but they just had the Red Reaper and the Hatcherman had to go down because if they closed, we'd be in trouble. Or, sorry, the Barbarian. Um, and we couldn't even pull down one because the armor reduction was so bad. Anyway, not much we could do about it now. All right, so there's the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe. And like I said, drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.